Wait a minute, fam. I ain't even show y'all how juicy, juicy that chicken is. I ain't even show y'all. Y'all, mm -mm 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 -mm. just tender. Look at that. Mmm, y'all. I'm out. What's up my YouTube family and welcome back to another video. So on the menu today guys we are having baked chicken. Love baked chicken. I really love fried chicken too. I think I just love chicken period. But we are baking chicken flavorful. When you bake chicken I'm telling you so many different seasonings you could use so many ways to bake it let me just show you one of the ways that I love to um, one of the ways on how I love to bake and season my chicken or season my baked chicken cook my baked chicken whatever so right here we have um, cut up whole chicken um, my wholesale place had it was so dope I found um, a case of chicken on sale but within that case it was um, two cut up chickens per each bag and it was like 10 bags in there so they was like a smooth come up so I love me a whole cut up chicken it's something about when a chicken is already when the chicken comes whole and then you butcher it versus just buying it um, you know the drums or the thighs in the pack. I don't know what that's about, but I don't know. So y'all Beautiful chicken here. I'm not cooking um, the whole two birds. I reserve some here It's like a couple of breasts here and uh, wings and stuff because I don't need to bake all that chicken But um, I love the size of these. I, I hate big humongous ridiculous redunk of the dunk pieces of chicken y'all I can't stand it this is perfect for me see that nice little see that drum perfect see that wing perfect this has already been cleaned and washed um, see that thigh perfect look at the breast it's not all ridiculous I just cleaned my chicken so hard I ripped off half of the skin on some but it's all good because it's still gonna be so good see that breast perfect size y'all so let's get right into it this is how I season one of the ways um, that I like to season and cook my baked chicken so of course again we have our nice um, clean chicken here move that to the side let's get this marinade going right here I have two sticks of butter hold on y'all let me get my towel so right there we have two sticks of butter to that I'm going to add some some people call it W sauce, some people call it Worcestershire sauce, some people call it Worcestershire, some people call it Chestershire, some people call it War sauce, I don't know. I call it Worcestershire, War, 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 I don't call it nothing, clearly, I don't know what I call it. So look y'all, we gonna go in, eyeballing, y'all already know I eyeball. No idea how much that was, I just know it's gonna be enough. Got my little forky fork. Get that a little stirry stir. Probably was like one fourth. Was that about one fourth? That probably was about one fourth cup, y'all. Let's add a little bit more though. Mix that on up in there. So we got some melted butter. We got some Worcester sauce. We got some granulated garlic. We eyeball and season to taste. Season to taste. Season to taste. You don't have to eat my chicken. You have to go by your own discretion when it comes to your seasoning, y'all. I can't tell you how to season your food. Again, I'm just giving you a blueprint on how I do mine. You take the blueprint and you do as you must with it, okay? So that's garlic powder in there. I want to put some more garlic because I want it. I love garlic. And I'm not going to chop up any um, whole garlic, y'all, because I don't want it to burn when it's baking. So I'm just going to go ham with the uh, garlic powder. Okay, so we got the butter. 
the W sauce. We got some garlic powder. We about to go in with a little bit of heat. This New Orleans Cajun. Love me some Weber seasonings, y'all. About that much. Okay. We about to go in with this beer can chicken seasoning. Okay, equal parts. I don't know, two two tablespoons, I guess. About two tablespoons. We about to go in with this. I also love grill mates too, y'all. I just love seasoning. Chipotle roasted garlic, y'all. Man, when I tell you this about to be some flavorful chicken, I ain't lying to you. Okay, let's go in with that. Just like that. And then, for a little bit more heat, we about to go in with some of this. Let me open it up first. Open it up first. Hope everyone is doing spectacular out there. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, I appreciate you guys so freaking much. I appreciate all you guys. Here we go. We about to go on with some of this Caribbean jerk chicken seasoning. Oh flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor y'all let's give it a nice little stir oh y'all look at this marinade look at that marinade y'all it didn't got all nice and thick look at that focus there we go look at that y'all look at that look at that marinade that's oh and butter Butter on baked chicken is crazy. Okay, y'all, let's bring our chicken back. Boom. Y'all know what's y'all know what's about to happen. Get that another little nice little stir. Don't be afraid to season y'all food, y'all. Shoot. Pour that marinade all on that chicken. Oh, mama wood. Oh ho ho ho! Yes! Y'all ho ho! Let's put this in the sink. Oh, ho, ho, my God. Okay, y'all, get your hands. Get your hands, get your gloves, whatever you want to do. And dig in there and get that marinade all mixed up in that chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that smells good. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, y'all get it nice and incorporated. Okay. Nice and incorporated. Just like that. So you could marinate it in this bowl. But what I am going to do, because I feel like it just marinates better when it's in a Ziploc bag. So let me take off these gloves. Let me grab me a bag. So you guys could um keep it in the bowl if you want but like i said i like to marinate my chicken in a zippity zippity doodle zippity day ziplock bag so that's what it's looking like mm, mm, mm. season your food season your food y'all season it stop playing season it so we are gonna put this chicken in this bag and we are gonna let this marinate minimum four hours overnight would be insane but we are gonna do four about four hours put that in there just like that Ooh, messy messy baby if it ain't messy it ain't right. Get your little towel. Keep the kitchen towel close to you. That's all. Wipe your hands off a little bit. We definitely need all that smoke. Put all that in there. We ain't wasting none of this marinade. We need all that. We need all that. Okay. Oh, y'all. Mm, you know when your seasoning smell good. You know your food about to be coming out bomb. You know it. Okay, so we got all that in there. Ha, 
top over here. Rinse these hands off real quick. So now y'all, like I said, I'm about to stir, stir it up up in this bag real quick. And then we go put it in the fridge, let it marinate for four hours. And then let me show y'all real quick what's gonna be. Wipe that up a little bit. Let me show y'all now what's gonna happen on step two. So I'm gonna get this mixed up nice and well within the bag, okay? Let me set that to the side. But when that chicken is done marinating, I have a couple of pans right here. And in these pans is a trifecta. We're more than a trifecta, but, cause we got four kinds of bell peppers in here and we have a white onion. So, we are gonna lay our marinated chicken right over these peppers and onions, y'all. We go put it right in the stove, uncovered, on 350. We gonna let that chicken bake up until it's nice and crispy, moist in the inside. By the time it's done, it's gonna make so much juice, flavorful juice down at that bottom of these pans. The onions and stuff is gonna be nice and soft. And listen, y'all, we gonna take that chicken, we gonna ladle it over some rice. Y'all, it's going down. It's going down, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, my YouTube fam, so I am back and my oven is preheating to 350. Now our chicken is all marinated. We let this chicken marinate for four hours, y'all. Okay, if you want to marinate, marinate it longer, go right ahead. I'm doing for at least marinated for four hours, you guys, if you cannot marinate it overnight, okay? So now, like I showed you guys earlier, we are going to um, bake this chicken over some um, bell peppers here and um, onion, okay? We are not putting any water at the bottom. We are just gonna lay our beautiful marinated chicken right over it. And you guys, this, I marinated mines in butter. So this is what it's gonna look like after it comes out the fridge, that butter is going to harden up. As you can see how, the, how that butter kinda clunked up. That's normal, it's butter. As it bakes, that butter is going to, of course, melt and it's going to um, distribute all throughout your uh, chicken and it's also gonna drip all on those veggies. That's what you want, okay? It's all good. You're not losing any flavor. So we got some that thigh. Got a little drummy drum. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, got a wing. We just laying our laying our beautiful chicken pieces right over these veggies. Y'all look at all that. Look at all that butter, all that marinade. All that butter marinade. Oh ho, ho my goodness. Lay it right on there. Little wing, little drum. I'm doing two pans um, like this, you guys, because my oven is not the biggest. And um, of course, I didn't want to crowd it in all this chicken in one of these uh, half of uh, one of these small pans, y'all. So we got a couple more wings in here. Put that right there. Another little wingy wing. Get on in there. What we got in here. Okay, that's it, y'all. So now, you are left with all this goodness. Don't know if y'all can see it, but it's going right back up on my chicken. Just trying not to make too much of a huge mess here. That's going right back on that chicken. Because all that butter seasoning is going to melt. And when I tell y'all, this go be fine. Get all that off. Get as much as you can off. Because remember, all that flavor too is up inside of our chicken, okay? So get as much as you can off. As much as you can. I just don't want it all over my table. But just do it just like that, y'all. Now I'm going to show y'all midway through how that butter looking on that chicken. 
It's gonna melt immediately, y'all, when I hit the heat. Hold on. Okay, I think that's good enough. Pull that out. Get rid of these gloves. Ooh. Okay. Okay, y'all, so this is what it's looking like. Let me give y'all a close-up. Move some of that right there. This gonna be it smells so good, y'all. Okay, y'all. So this is what it's looking like. Ooh. It's looking just like that. Looking a hot mess, ain't it? Looking a hot mess. That's how you know it's gonna be good, because it's looking a hot mess. <laughs> but y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like midway through so stay tuned it's going in the oven y'all on 350 and we gonna cook it until it's nice and golden brown these pieces aren't that big so i'm thinking maybe about an hour hour and a half i'll keep y'all posted All right, my YouTube fam lamb. Y'all thought it was a game. And it wasn't a game. Look at that baked chicken, y'all. Just look at that. Y'all, when I say packed with flavor, so we cooked it on 350 for about an hour and a half. We flipped it, cooked it on that side for about 20 minutes or so y'all that's it so then we took it out of our cooking pan and here's those reserved butter juices right there now y'all already know what's about to happen y'all already know we about to take some of that delicious butter onions peppers look at that that's nothing but filet of the let's put it on there Hold on, y'all. Don't want to make too much of a mess. So we just go ladle that. Y'all, we just go. Y'all. Y'all. That's how we just go do that right there. We go do that just like that, and we just go do that like that. Now, that remaining juice, when you make your plate, put that butter Put that seasoned butter broth right over your rice. Put that right over your rice. Grab you a piece of chicken. Hold on, let me back up. Grab you a piece of a chicken. I said chicken, I'm so excited. Lay that chicken over that rice. Ladle some more of that butter flavor over that rice. And y'all gonna be good to go. As always, fam, I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Peace.